All right, the first thing we're gonna do, oh, let me get my green pen, is, uh, so based on your results in the previous activities, choose a grind time and keep it the same for all brews today. I'm gonna choose a grind time of 10 seconds for all my brews. And uh, then decide on what your extraction times will be today. Choose three times, at least two minutes apart, uh, but could be as much as four minutes apart. And I am choosing times that are four minutes apart from each one because I want to see the greatest difference possible amongst my three brews today. I've chosen one minute and then five minutes and then on the next page, nine minutes so that we can see what the differences are, if any. I mean, who knows? <laughs> uh, that's why it's an experiment, right? Uh, I'm choosing 350 grams of hot water. And this time I'm choosing a brew ratio of 17. So this is gonna be a higher amount of water than in a previous experiment that we did. So let's see, so uh, our brew equals 17 equals grams of water over grams of grounds. Those are dry grounds, so let's see, so 350 over x, so 17x equals 350. Solving for how many grams of dry grounds we'll need. So 350, nope, 350 divided by 17. 20.6 grams, we'll shoot for 20.6 grams. There we go. And uh, record the type of coffee being brewed. I'm still with my Ethiopia. You may change what you would like your brew ratio. Okay. Um, yep, then calculate the grams. Decide what you want. Start heating your water. I just did, but I'm going to heat it up again. Weigh out your coffee beans. Um, and to do that, I'm going to use a 100 milliliter beaker. And I've got my scale right here. So I want 20.6 this time. I need more than that. Not as much as that. Sorry, you can't see my scale there. Uh, now we're at 21.6. 21.6. Twenty point seven. I'm gonna leave it at twenty point seven because I know it's almost always we get all of it or less point one, so I'll get twenty point six. Twenty point seven would be fine too. So I have twenty point seven grams, and my water just turned off, so it's hot. Um, I'm gonna grind my coffee for ten seconds. And for 10 seconds, I'm going to do 1,001. So I guess that's how I did it before. Smells really good, pretty fine. Um, and then I got a little bit of carryover over here, so I'm gonna shake that out again. Maybe even spoon it out with the back of a spoon. Get everything out. All right, so I got my beans ground. Now, so da da da, we got your coffee beans, record the mass of the clean, dry, clever dripper. And from here, I can just sort of follow along. And I have the base, but I think, I can't remember how I did last time, but we're just going to do the clever dripper by itself.
252.5 grams. Massive clean dry coffee cup. One fifty point nine grams. Clever dripper and filter. Because one thing I've learned is that we don't want to do any brown filters, any non white filters. Because you get filter paper taste in there, although maybe you'd like that. So let's see. So so it's zero without it. I get 254.0 grams with the filter and the coffee. Two seventy four point six. I like how that works. Two seventy four point six. My extraction time is one minute. Um, Let's take a minute here and heat that water back up. Good, got my Handheld refractometer handy. Got my cup handy. Good. Got my temperature probe handy. So let's pour some water into a beaker. Let's see what the temperature of that water will be. And how much water did I get? Did I get 350? Got a little bit more. So. Oh, it's pretty close. Let's go with it. Temperature of that water. Right about 94. It's not going up anymore, so let's take it. I got 93.9. And... Now I can throw in the base. And just pour it in. No technique. No. I'm going to pretend there's a technique anyway. Oh. Oh, shoot. Good. My timer's going. I'll take a sec couple seconds off that. And do I have a top for this? Not really. I would like to have a top. So I'm just going to use this. My bag of filters. Not ideal, but it will work. And my timer's over here. So I don't know if you can see it, but we're at 33 seconds. We're going to go for one minute. Uh, and you know, I'm going to do one minute before I put it on the coffee cup. The coffee cup will take some additional seconds, it's true. And since they're pretty finely ground, right, it's just about time. There we go. One minute is all. And so might as well put that thing back on there. Let it drain through. Here it comes, the coffee. Almost if it's done, let's take that off. Oh, it does take about another minute to drip through. And I'm just writing a note that says one minute uh, before putting on coffee cup.
good experiments. You always have to be um, take as many notes as possible because what does one minute mean? Does it mean one minute bef until all the coffee's in the mug or the glass? Or what does it mean? And you can see we're really draining pretty slowly here. That is going to affect my extraction. These lower beans you see are getting, a, uh, or these lower grounds are getting a lot more time than the upper grounds. It's still dripping through though. We don't talk about it, but there's a bunch to uh, gravity and now uh, what I might call the water cooler effect. How when the water is near the top, like way up here, uh, way up here, there's a lot of water, so there's a lot of hydrostatic pressure forcing it through. And now there's not much, you know, the water's not very deep. There's not much water pushing down on the other water to push it through the filter. But all part of the process. And you can still see there's liquid filtering through slowly as it goes. I'm going to wait for it all to get in there. I think that's going to be pretty good. Yep. Oh, so now I need, anyway, massive clean, part, clean, dry, cover dripper, filter paper, ground coffee, water. Oops. Well, let's do everything. And before I do everything, just turn the scale on. This is going to be water plus cup. I get 783.2 grams. Mass of cup and water. That's good. We get 472.0 grams. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the video. And now it's time to do our percent TDS coffee. I've got my pipettes. I've got a little bit of a sample here. That's where I'm holding my coffee, so let's put... Uh, right. Conditioning this. And let's go ahead and do our sample. One point three three three. Actually, I'm getting one point three three four one. and taste evaluations. And this time I'm gonna do something new. To do that, I'm gonna get a beaker here, a clean, dry beaker. Um, I'm actually making this video later in the day and I don't wanna drink any more caffeine. And so I'm gonna actually taste it and then spit it out, pardon me, by the Excuse me. Mm, yeah, it tastes tastes weak. Um, pretty good, but weak. Yep, those are my sensory evaluations for this. Excuse me. 
so tastes weak uh sour yeah that's actually it's a pretty good taste sample for sour uh let's see so this is plus cup hopefully that will not mess up my measurements please uh, do remember to do the clever dripper will filter paper ground coffee and water while they're on the scale oops well uh, then for the rest of this experiment you're going to do the same thing for five minutes and the same thing for nine minutes you're going to put in your percent TDS figure out your percent extractions your PEs for each of those and then graph them and answer some questions.